Hello guys, Ancient Gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco and today I bring you a new video. This time with a video of the i5-6400 vs the Ryzen 5 2600. Is it worth the upgrade or not? Just one thing, this i5-16400 is using a modded BIOS and so it is overclocked to 4.1 GHz against the 3.2 GHz on base I think 3.2 or 3.4 GHz, I don't really care and I don't really remember. So it is overclocked. And if you guys think that these scores are really, really bad for the Ryzen 5 2600, just watch this video of the i5 6400 versus the i5 8400 and you'll be surprised of, the, um, of how good this, this overclocked via... This overclocked via VCLK i5-16400 does. So the games tested are Assassin's Creed Origins, Far Cry 5, CSGO on the benchmark map, League of Legends and Dota 2. The resolutions tested, as always, are 720p, 1080p and 1440p. One more time, 720p is to remove the GPU bottleneck and simulate a higher end GPU. At least a higher end GPU than my RX 480, which is a mid end GPU, so you get it. If you like this kind of videos, don't forget to watch these videos because they are awesome. And that's all for today. Don't forget, hit like, subscribe, and share the video because that helps a lot. That helps me and that helps the channel a lot. Follow me on the social media and See you in the resume. The first game tested today is Assassin's Creed Origins, a game that relies not only on core speed but also core count. And well, even with less cores you can see the overclocked i5-6400 pulling ahead of the Ryzen 5 2600 in every resolution. Not by much, but it is still ahead. If you think this is not true, remember that the i5-6400 is overclocked and can almost match an i5-8400. You can see this on the video on the top right corner of the screen. The second test is on Far Cry 5. Here we can see that the i5 is barely ahead at 1080p and 1440p, but once we go down to 720p and eliminate the GPU bottleneck, we can see that the i5-6400 pushes around 15 more FPS on average. But the big difference is on the 1% lows, where the i5 has once more an advantage of around 15 FPS. 1% lows, higher 1% lows will increase the smoothness of the gameplay. Now on CSGO benchmark map. We all know Counter-Strike games always perform better on Intel CPUs, due to their higher IPC and mostly higher frequencies and lower latencies, so these results are nothing new at all. 
Still, I thought that the i5-6400 would be able to push way more FPS. And well, I think that Ryzen being able to push 360 FPS on average is a pretty good deal for these CPUs. Now with League of Legends, results get all over the place. Nothing new, after all, it is League of Legends. But well, we can see that the i5-6400 pushes more FPS at 720p, but once we raise the, the resolution to 1080p and 1440p, we can see Ryzen 5 2600 pushing more FPS than the i5. But seriously, take these results with a grain of salt because, after all, it is League of Legends and it is a gameplay, so it, it is really hard to, to replicate the same exact movements. The last game tested is Dota 2, which brings us way more consistent results. Thank God! We can see the i5 completely annihilates the Ryzen 5 2600 in any resolution, being it on average FPS or in 1% lows. Be aware that these numbers are on the X11, and I am 100% sure that the Ryzen 5 2600 numbers would be a lot higher if we were using Vulkan. I haven't used Vulkan due to MSI Afterburner not being able to record the FPS numbers. Still, not bad results. So guys, the conclusion. Conclusion is, the i5-6400 will outmatch the Ryzen 5 2600 on this case scenario, so using uh, 2933 MHz RAM CL15 because Ryzen architecture scales a lot with RAM frequency and lower timings. Unlike the, um, the i5 architecture, so the Core i architecture, which scales of course with higher speed RAM, higher frequency RAM, but not as much, not near as much as the Ryzen architecture. The point is, in this case, the Core i5-6400 really outmatches, in these games of course, the Ryzen 5 2600. Of course, it has only 4 cores and 4 threads, so for multi-threading applications, forget it, because the Ryzen 5 2600 will simply destroy the i5, but in these games, in kind of recent to older games, well, even on Assassin's Creed Origins, the i5 6400 outmatches the Ryzen 5 2600. But one thing is for sure, if you are using instead of Direct, Direct X 11, sorry, if you are using uh, the DX12 or maybe let's say Vulcan, the results will be a lot different. But well, that's not uh, all games, at least for now. So I'm using and I'm picking some of the most played games on today's days. Today's days. Yeah, sounds, sounds nice. My conclusion is, if you are building a new system, just pick the Ryzen 5 2600, of course, and buy some decent RAM speed and you will outmatch, I'm almost certainly, you will outmatch the, um, the i5-6400, even overclocked, if you are using, let's say, 30... 30 not... 300 MHz CL14 RAMs. I am pretty sure you will outmatch the, the i5 with these uh, RAM settings. But well, if you can, and if you are building a, a second-hand system, a used part system, just grab a cheap combo of the i5-6400 and, for example, a Z170 motherboard, and just put it, uh, put the, um, the modded bias, overclock the i5, and be happy. That's all for today, guys. Don't forget, hit like, subscribe, and share the video if you can, because that helps a lot the channel. And of course, follow me on the social media and don't forget to comment on the comment section because I like to keep in touch with my viewers. Thanks a lot one more time and see you in the next video.